Hey y'all, JS Creations Art Sanity here. I'm going to recreate this butterfly. Now this one here, that first one, I drew that on MDF board and my husband cut it out for me and routed out the little holes in the wings. Now they didn't go all the way through the board. Um, and then I laid foil and glass and resin in there um, and just made it so pretty. Well, this one here that I'm doing, I found this butterfly at Michael's. And so I'm going to try to recreate the first one that I did. Now with the holes going all the way through this one, I, well, to start with, I lightly sanded it and then gave it two coats of that desert rose gold. And now I'm spreading out uh, tacky glue all on the back of it. And I'm going to cover this with foil. Now I just rip off a piece of foil, kind of crumble it up so it, it gets wrinkly and I will just lay that on the back there, glue that down there. Now this is going to be so pretty and, and sparkly when, when it's hanging up and, and the sun or the light catches it. You'll see that the foil and the glass in the butterfly. So being very careful not to be too rough with this because I definitely don't want, you know, to poke through. Um, so I'm fixing it here because I don't want a seam in the hole. So I'm working it to where my seam is right down the middle of the butterfly. And I just let that dry and I'll come in here with my cutting board and my knife and cut off that extra foil. And all that extra, I have a little bucket that all that goes in and I use that for other projects. So none of it goes to waste. And this doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it, it doesn't matter if it's completely covering the back because all I want is for it to be covering those holes. So as long as, you know, I'm careful of not poking a hole where those holes are, you know, it, it really, it's, it's not going to hurt it if I tear off some that's, you know, covering some of that back. You're not going to see it. So I just keep cleaning up around the edges there. Here we go, all cleaned up, looking good. And now, to make that back a little stronger, where those, the holes are, because if I put resin, if I put the, the glass and the resin in there now, it's just gonna weigh that foil down too much that it's gonna, I'm afraid it's gonna rip. So I have these um, couple pieces of cardboard here that I am going to glue on the back of this butterfly. And I'm using two because the one isn't quite big enough to cover. And again, I don't want a seam where my holes are. So I'm going to put the seam right down the middle of that butterfly. So again, just using my tacky glue, tacky glue 
and spreading that out and I will put my cardboard on there. I will come in here and put um, a couple of heavy containers on top of this cardboard and leave it set overnight. Just because I don't want the cardboard to kind of pop up. I want a good seal on that. So I just grab a couple of my containers with my glass and rocks in it. Something heavy just to keep it down and solid there. So now we're going to cut off the extra and again I grab my little cutting board there and my knife and we're going to do the same thing that we did for the foil. We're just going to cut around there and take all that extra off of there. Now this time I am being a little more careful to get it right um, up, up against that butterfly. Like I don't, I don't, because you're going to see this part of it on the back. Um, so I don't want, I want it to be even and smooth. So I do my best to keep it because I want it to look like part of the butterfly and even flow so I'll get all this trimmed up clean up my edges and then I do uh, paint the back of this I take it out and I spray it with that um, desert rose gold again as you'll see here see I sprayed the back of that and so now I'm ready to um, do my little wings color my wings there um, I'm using, I think that's pool. Yeah. Pool, the pool color alcohol ink. I'm using a uh, general use resin from the epoxy resin store. Um, I'm just mixing up a little bit there. Now those stir sticks, those are awesome for stirring up little, little batches like this. And I got those from Mr. Nola's glitter. I will have them linked below. I will have all of these supplies that I used in the description below. So I'm, <clears throat> that is crushed mirror glass. It's got kind of a, a bluish turquoise tint to it. And I was just trying to match that with the color of resin that I'm using. And now I do want this the resin transpa transparent because I want to be able to, to see that foil and that glass through there. Um, so just very carefully, I know this is sped up quite a bit, but I, I was very careful while pouring that glass in there and kind of moving it around with that popsicle stick um, just to make sure that it was kind of, it was covered. Now I don't want to completely cover all that foil up and I'm not filling up those holes all the way. So I just keep pouring my resin in there and kind of moving around just to make sure that all the glass is covered and It 
gets all into the corners. I will uh, run my torch over this and leave cover this and leave this set for 24 hours. Okay, almost done. For this last part here, I am just going to brush on, paint on clear resin. This is just clear resin. It, I'm still using the general use resin from the epoxy resin store. And just using my brush, um, this one here is a silicone brush. And yeah, just dipping it in. I had a little bit of resin left over from another project. And I'm just dipping that in my um, resin there and just painting it on. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I'll keep using this silicone brush for the top of it and I'll go back to that other brush there and do around um, the sides. But I don't want any drips. And I don't want to completely fill up the holes in the wings. So that's why I'm painting it on instead of just doing like a flood coat. So yeah, I just keep doing this until I'm satisfied that I've got good coverage. I will come in here with my heat gun and torch, and then I will cover it and leave it set for 24 hours. Now, after that 24 hours, there was some places um, on here that I, the resin really didn't take to and it was it was kind of around those cutouts so I did come back in here and do this same process I just mixed up a little bit of clear resin and did like another um, coat on top of here I just painted it on just like I am now so I did do this process twice letting letting it dry for 24 hours in between and yeah that's basically it and now I've got a beautiful butterfly like I said I will have everything in the description um, please like share subscribe leave me a comment let me know what you think of this one As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Consider joining me over on Facebook. I'll have that link in the description as well. At the end here, I'll have a picture of it outside and you can see all the, the shiny, the sparkle. Thanks for watching everybody. Till next time.